Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name's Lala and today I just wanted to go over my experience with using Retin-A, also known as Tretinoin. So we're gonna get right into it. Also, please hit the like and subscribe. This is literally my first video ever and we're just gonna claim a million subscribers right off the bat anyhow let me tell you about my experience with retin a so it was about a year and a half ago i was almost done with nursing school i was under a lot of stress at that time a lot of pressure and for some reason i broke out with acne now some people call it masne and this is what happened Anybody out there that is going through a hard time with this should just know that it is temporary. This is a disclaimer. I am not a dermatologist. I am not a doctor. I am not a highly specialized person in this area. So what is Retin-A? Well, Retin-A is a vitamin A derivative and it can treat acne topically. Tretinoin, also known as retin A, is a retinoid commonly used to treat some of the signs of aging. It also helps with fine lines and wrinkles by increasing cell turnover, improving elasticity, replenishing skin cells, collagens, and stores. If you want to know what retin A is or tretinoin, you can easily Google it. The people who don't feel like putting their phones down to go Google it, I'm just giving you the definition. I had little bumps because I was wearing masks. I was under the impression that if I use tretinoin or retin A, it would get rid of my little bumps, help me look a little bit younger, and just give me an overall better looking appearance. My skin was peeling, but I wasn't purging like everyone was saying I would do. And I was like, you know, I'm ready to get rid of these bumps. Let me see if they could up the dosage. So they upped the dosage. I went from like 0.025 to 0.1. Babies, let me tell you, my skin was literally on fire. It was peeling daily. So I couldn't even leave the house without sunscreen. I couldn't even wake up without sunscreen. I was still using it because I was like, the end result is going to be beauty, baby. And so when I would get on Reddit and those online forums and people would be like, yay, just keep going. You're purging. That's normal. Keep going. I'm like, okay, I'm looking crazy right now. But yay, I'm going to keep going. No. No, 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 no. What I am going to tell you, listen to your body. Listen to your skin. Like, I started breaking out like crazy. I got all these bumps down here. Like, my brother was like, oh, it looked like you got a beard. Like, bruh. I kept using it for a while. And then one day I worked out. And the following day, I woke up and looked in the mirror and was in disbelief of what I seen. I was like, this is not me. Who is she? Like, and where is my face? Like, give me back my face. <sighs> Anyhow, it was a hurtful experience. Like, and for days I woke up and was like, this is not me. At night, I'll be like, this is a dream. Let me go in the bathroom. I was putting Vaseline on my face back to back. All these people was like, you're dehydrated. Your face is dehydrated, so I'm drinking extra water. I'm steady caking on the Retin-A, steady packing on the chair, knowing, not knowing that it was having a really bad adverse effect on my skin. And everything that the product promised to do, ultimately did the reverse to me. I was like, why me? Like out of all people, gosh. Look, I start getting wrinkles like right here, these very harsh smile lines. I start getting bags under my eyes and my cheeks was like, and I was like, what the heck did I just do? And I took a lot of pride in skincare and things of that nature. Like when I would wash my face, I would literally pat it dry since I was like a teenager. It wasn't a natural 
aging process. And I'm still dealing with it, but it got to the point where I woke up and I looked in the mirror and I was like, I don't look the same, but this is the new me and I'm gonna have to love me. If people can't love me for the inside, then that's their loss, not mine. I had to learn to love me, not just the physical me. I had to go back and I almost learn myself again and assess my values and virtues and things that I have to offer besides just a pretty face. So, you know, the universe might be wanting to tell you that too, because I feel like that's what the lesson was that I was supposed to learn in that moment. And look at me today. like. It just shows me like you never know what can happen in the blink of an eye. So that's why I'm doing this video today because who would have known I was gonna use Retin-A or Tretinoin and have that bad experience that I had. No lie, I looked everywhere for a bit video that like gave me the rundown of the adverse effects as well as the good effects. Like I've heard people say that Retin-A or Tretinoin can um, turn white fat to brown fat. I don't know if that's facts. If anybody finds it out, please put it in the comments below. Um, but according to this article and what I read in this article, basically what it was saying was that um, retin-A or retinoids, they get trapped inside of our fatty tissue or our fat cells. That's where tretinoin or retin-A gets trapped. And then the body metabolizes that and some kind of way, Retin-A breaks fat down. I know that it promises a more youthful appearance, but in my opinion, if there's a product that's gonna break down the fat in my face and decrease the volume in my face, I would think that that would make me look older, like not younger. That was something I really couldn't find on the internet until after I end up using it and having the effect of smile lines in a deflated face. And I ultimately found this article and there are plenty of articles on this. You might want to look up, you know, adipose tissue, retin-A, and then they'll tell you the studies versus just Googling retin-A. And they show you this one woman with this really pretty, beautiful skin.